Ah. Uh, so, if you're a wrestling fan, you would know this, that uh, WWE, World Wrestling Entertainment uh, superstar Ric Flair, he had his last wrestling match. Now, I know it's a little uh, ironic because uh, this guy has had his last wrestling match many times, both in uh, WWE as well as outside, and every time he has stated, this is my last wrestling match. He had it in WrestleMania versus Shawn Michaels. And uh, we thought that was the last wrestling match. And uh, I, I still remember the iconic moment where Shawn Michaels uh, gives him a switch in music and he falls down. And before that, he says, I'm sorry, I love you. And gives him a switch in music and after he falls down, this holds him and they both are crying and he goes, cries and hugs his family and that was supposed to be the last match. But <laughs> then he comes back again and then his daughter, he is busy promoting and I also remember the very iconic match where uh, Ric Flair is uh, with his daughter in the ring and she she's playing a She's having a promo where she insults her father, says, I'm, I'm uh, what ashamed to be your daughter or something like that. And he actually starts crying. He cries and his daughter tries her level best not to break kayfabe, you know. That was a powerful moment. And uh, then after that, he tried coming back and being a manager and kissing one other superstar as part of the wrestling you know, drama or entertainment that they have. And then obviously he left. I think he left for AEW, I'm not too sure. And then, uh, I don't know, he had a fallout over there or something. And then he was wrestling in independent circuits. And then he got remarried and then he got bankrupt. And so he was in the headlines for all the funny reasons. He was doing podcasts. And so finally, when... Uh, this started appearing on my feed headlines that he's having his last wrestling match. At first, I was uh, at first I was skeptical. I was like, "Come on, man, not again!" But then, uh, out of curiosity, uh, I again saw the feed on my YouTube videos, and uh, some one YouTuber he has like spectator footage, raw footage of. Uh, Ric Flair's final match. And there you can see, to my surprise, Undertaker had come there, but not in his character. He had come as Mark Calloway. Then, uh, what's this guy's name? Uh, Mankind. Uh, can't get his real name right now. So he had come there. Uh, uh, you know, he's another hardcore legend. Mick Foley, Mick Foley, yes. And then I was shocked when I saw Hitman Bret Hart. He also was there. It's like bloody hell, all these guys are there. So then it uh, kind of occurred to me, this may be serious. This may be actually his last match. Because, you know, these three superstars uh, coming together to see him, they're also in a small circuit. Uh, it's not like an international stage or anything. And then, obviously, when I saw... Uh, there was a roasting of Ric Flair and all the stars from Sting to The Rock all gave him tributes. I was like, oh bloody hell, this guy is having his last hurrah. He is having his last match. And so I watched the match and you could clearly make out he was, you know, a shell of what he used to be. He was really, really slow. I mean, you can't blame him, man. He's 73. Can you imagine that? I mean, even when he was hitting, it was just like, you know, there was no energy. And and he had a 30-minute match. 3-0, 30-minute. Okay, obviously, the other characters in the ring, they took the brunt of the falls and all. You, you can't expect a 73-year-old man to take bumps and all that. And then obviously, you know, Ric Flair, he, he bled himself... Uh, started bleeding and all. You, you know, it's a risky thing because he's old. He shouldn't be doing that. And, uh, you know, like, 
because wrestling is more like telling a story he he won in the end uh, they passed him some brass knuckles and he punched and you know he won he had that his signature move and then in the end uh, confetti fell on the stage and all the other characters left and he went to went to give his final goodbye speech oh man i'll tell you it only then it dawned on me that uh, this is indeed rick flair's final match it is truly his final match because he's 73 <laughs> can you can you let that sink in just let that sink in 73 years old i mean i can't even imagine me being 60 let alone 73 can you imagine a guy walking into the ring or can you imagine a guy uh even working for that matter and he had a 30 minute match his body is worn down it then just dawned on me she she it is it's a end of an era i mean one by one we are getting all these characters disappearing hulk hogan vince mcmahon rick flair undertaker and uh, you know people who have left us like ultimate warrior they have died like sheesh man what the hell is happening <sighs> you know for those of you who are not born in my generation or when we grew up watching wrestling you would not know how it feels it's like you literally grew up as a child watching these characters watching you know playing arcade games and uh buying plastic toys or you know buying the posters and you they were a part of your life so strong that uh you know them these people when they retire you feel a part of your life a part of your childhood has vanished and it really hits you like a ton of bricks man it really hits you like a ton of bricks it's um is something i uh, you know unless you experience it you wouldn't know it it's it's really sad it's really sad and uh, i really <laughs> i wouldn't say i felt sorry for him but you just think like you know you just feel that sense of sadness that every great larger than life character you have seen now you see them old now you see them worn down now you see them retired like undertaker how massive he was how imposing he was and now he is just like an old man retired hey he looks much better than most of us brett the hitman hart and how muscular he was and the excellence of execution now he has gray hair and mick foley is like a you know old grandpa like a dad you know ah <sighs> Rick Flair with all his glamour in fact the outfit he wore it seems was $40,000 he wore that and you know he used to come out with all these shiny outfits and amazing hair and the looks and woo he used to go like that <laughs> i mean we will never have characters like that we'll never have personalities like brands like that you know <sighs> all you can say is like you know you can just stand there and give them respect you know and uh, as i was sitting and watching it from my monitor my heart just sank you know i i you know i wish i could just stand and you know give him an applause but uh, you know in your heart you just think like it's it's end of an era it's over you know and sadly one by one you know for a fact now they're just sitting and awaiting death because their time is up and they have to move on so overall uh, what i want to conclude uh, and say is like you know i know rick flair is never going to see my videos uh but if he was if he was i would just say uh, out of respect sir i mr rick flair just thank you you know thank you for all the years all the 
blood, sweat and tears, all the bumps and bruises and injuries and challenges in life you, you gave us, you know, and we grew up watching you, you know. And now it's time to, you know, bid goodbye. And there's nothing but gratitude, you know, gratitude from the bottom of our hearts that you gave us the best years of your life until 73 and you give it for free. <laughs> There's nothing more, nothing more we can ask from you, you know. And just like that, he walked into the sunset. And now we are left with our realities, the realization that uh, this phase is gone. Another one, another human being who was so important in your life is no more. <laughs> anyway, this is life and uh, I just wanted to say thank you to Mr. Ric Flair. If ever you watch this video, it would be an honor if you did. But if you didn't, I still want you to know like your millions and millions of fans. It's me saying thank you. Anyway guys, this is all I wanted to say. Comment down below if you do have memories of Ric Flair. It'll be nice to hear and read. You guys take care. Alright? Ciao.